Victor Wood, TV newscaster, who was selected to host the uh, Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative with uh, President Barack Obama, is in the studio with us this morning. Okay, and it was probably the biggest event of your life, right? It was the highlight. I mean, it's, it's the thing that I will tell my children, and they'll tell their grandchildren, I think. <laughs> right. So, um, I understand you had a little of uh, little me time with President Barack Obama. That I really you, appreciated. Yeah. Well, what did you guys talk about? Um, uh, first of all, I have to give props to his uh, administration, to his team for even arranging that. Um, it was one of those things where they needed to have a quick meet and a formal introduction just before I went out to give my um, introductory speech. And that was a quick minute or so. But, you know, he what he said to me, the first thing, before I could even ask him any questions, he had said to me, Anita, thank you for doing this. Oh. You know, and that to me was... Amazing. I mean, I think, no, thank you, sir, for the honor. You know, it's two words. It was exhilarating as well as humbling and oh, bama awesome. <laughs> I mean, like, I know, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to coin a term here, but it's not working. Yeah. Um, well, I, I know that uh, you were selected to be, you know, to host this. How did that happen? Uh, I got a phone call. They said, Anita, we need your CV. We're sending it to the White House. <laughs> what was <laughs> my boss was going, what? <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's it's one of those things where I don't think anything could have prepared me for this. Um, uh, the opportunity came. I happened to be at the right place at the right time. I that's 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 it. Right. How you know? far advanced did you know that this was happening? I only got the confirmation I think on Tuesday afternoon, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's actually not a lot of time if you wanna you know prepare, prepare a speech yeah. and do your research and get your wardrobe together and collaborate with you know your team and so yeah it was it was the most insane five what days what were so. some of the highlights for you there were plenty but i think more than anything else was getting a feel of the man behind the office the man mm -hmm. behind that and it was a fantastic opportunity for a lot of the youth because this is an initiative that he himself his administration himself is very gung-ho about um, and that's engaging the youth from around the world. So last year there was a similar town hall in South Africa. This time it's in ASEAN because he's recognizing ASEAN as um, a future powerful region. Um, and he, he wanted to engage with the youth directly and his entire administration was very, very firm about that. He wanted to pick the questions himself. Mm -hmm. He wanted to engage with the youth himself and he wanted questions from social media to come in as well from the youth. And uh, they made it such that, you know, it was so strict on the youth that it was 35 and under in that hall. Only. Right. That's why I didn't get my invitation. Got lost in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you brought a book that you were hoping to get it signed. Uh, did that happen? Absolutely. Uh, I thought it was. It, but this is, like I said, you know, kudos to his amazing team. Kudos to his amazing team who went well beyond their call of duty and said, sir, if you would kindly, you know. And, mm -hmm. and this is, of what? course, his book, right? Yeah. Yes. A Change We Can Believe In. What did he write in it, Anita? He said, it was wonderful to meet you. All the best. Oh, <laughs> lovely. And, um, you know, he, he was also very lovely towards the end at, of the forum. Yeah? I was very lucky because, um, you know, he was such a gentleman. And it tells you these one-on-one -on -one interactions or these personal interactions tell you how humble he is as a person. And, you know, he said to me, instead of going through the protocol and exiting straight away, he just said, I need, I'm going to go shake some hands. I didn't need to know that, Mr. President. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, right. it was it was humbling. I guess he just didn't want you to panic and stuff, now. Yeah, and that's exactly amazing. He is. He practices what he preaches. You know, if he says, "I," you know, you should be humble and you should always put yourself in other people's shoes and respect others. It's exactly what. He does. Uh, you know, one of his staff actually came up to me and said, "Would you like to say goodbye to the president?" And I just thought that was so polite. It was so professional, so polite. And I, and I did. And when I looked around the room, I thought, oh, oh my. <laughs> um, the, the delegation that was there and the level of delegation that was there, ambassadors and... Um, mm -hmm. uh, and I was there and it was definitely a humbling, wonderful experience a day for the books. Right. Well, we're all very happy for you, Anita. Congratulations. Thank and you know, much. We're jealous as well at the same time. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> he did say he's coming back to Southeast Asia every year. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. yeah.